At the dawn of time, the Monitor placed quantum towers on key Earths as a last line of defense. The red skies are dissipating, which means it's working. From this design, it looks like the tower is capable of generating a quantum flux field, which could theoretically... Reverse the exogenic state of the antimatter wave, thereby dissipating the antimatter energy. Yes. Finally, someone who speaks my language. Love your suit. If you want, I could probably give it an upgrade. Depends on how attached you are to your hand. Pretty attached. So the tower can stop this Earth from being destroyed? If you can protect it. Protect it from what? The anti-monitor. He commands forces greater than any army. When the tower stops the wave, they will come to thwart any effort to save this planet and its people. Shh, Brock! Jonathan's pod has disappeared from our radar. It appears to have been sucked into a wormhole. What are the coordinates? Star City, Earth 16. Mm, interesting. It must have been a temporal wormhole because, well, the pod is in the year 2046. We've been there before. Apparently, we didn't just travel into the future. Yeah, we traveled to a parallel Earth in the future. It's great. I'm going after him. Clark, you can't. <laughs> Those are two words I'm not used to hearing, and my son needs me. I'm a parent, and I get it. The entire universe needs you. When that tower gets attacked, you have to be here to protect it. I'll go. Lois. I'll back you up. Got another train. As will I. I happen to be excellent with children. Don't worry. I'll get him. Uh, you know, Oliver. I've seen Playboy Oliver, Vigilante Oliver, but I never thought I would see Parent Oliver. It's weird, right? So weird. <laughs> but it looks good on you. Uh, Jean. Well, I, I thought Director Denvers was with you. She was, but she went to call the president to coordinate the evacuation in case the quantum tower fails. Ah, she is smart. That is exactly what I was about to suggest. Mm. But has she contemplated the number of ships one would require for such an exodus? Brini, every alien refugee on this planet came here in a ship. I intend to ask them for their help. Do you really think they will? After how the government treated them last year? I have faith that everybody will do the right thing. Humans and aliens alike. Well, in any event, this should help. Oh, Sprock. Yeah, I've just managed to zero in on Jonathan's location in Star City. The president is in. He's speaking with other world leaders. We'll coordinate the effort from National City. But, Sean... Even if we did manage to get enough ships for everyone, we can't just fly off Earth. I mean, space itself is being erased. Earth One is the last stop on the anti-meta trajectory. We can try and get everybody there. Well, one little extrapolator is not going to do the job. Transmeta portal? Who could build one big enough? I mean, not even Brainy has. Lena. She built an enormous one for the Daxamites. I'm sure she could build one twice as big. No, that's too big of a risk. I mean, after Myriad, after everything, she can't be trusted. What other choice do we have?